Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Cancer at the Foundation, please? Oh, Judgment. Imagine that, Cancer, right there at the Foundation. Pluto energy. Scorpio energy at the foundation. All right, Cancer. I feel like these are... Well, let's see what else we have at the sacral here. So I just saw Ten of Swords and the Death card. Wow. Okay, what do we have at the sacral? Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy at the sacral. There's an energy here, Cancer. These are people who sold their soul to the devil. Three of Pentacles energy at the sacral, right? To stop you from stepping into your purpose and aligning with your divinity. This is over. And this has been in your energy now on and off for a while. It's an energy of exposure. What do we have at the solar plexus? The world. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. This is a fixed energy. This is the end of a cycle. The end of a karmic cycle. It's like all these individuals who did this. Whoever this is here, Cancer, who did this to you, are now being rounded up by the divine through circumstances that show up in their everyday life. So the divine will be arranging things for these individuals in their life to, let's say, get them caught up, get them in trouble, right? This is how the divine works. This is how the divine takes care of the individuals that need to pay karma for what they've done to you. You being somebody who's of the divine light, somebody who has aligned with your divinity, somebody who's working for the divine, helping to raise the collective vibration, the collective awareness, awareness to all of our divinity. You're needed. And judgment, I always say this, judgment is something that triggers once you remember who you are and what you came here to do, Cancer, right? Because this is when you align with your divinity. You step back on that path to your purpose. You take the call from the divine judgment energy at the foundation. It's like judgment is the divine killing two birds with one stone, right? Waking you up to who you are, your divinity, and then as soon as this takes place, it triggers judgment for the individuals that were actually holding you captive. This is you stepping into your power. Wow, look at that. With the world at the solar plexus, right? This is you taking back the power. You're in this very confident, controlled energy. No longer powerless, feeling inferior to these energies, right? And then it moves you into the star energy, Aquarius energy at the heart. Hope. Miracles taking place in your life. And I always say this. We're meant to think that miracles are a rarity. This couldn't be further from the truth. Once you align with your divinity and your purpose, miracles take place all day long every single day because every step of your life and every minute of your life inside this divine energy that's in alignment with your purpose is a miracle and you feel it. There's no mistaking it. This is you being guided now by the divine you are an inspiration to others as well, Cancer. Just by overcoming this, it gives people hope to see you pushing forward and overcoming something so outrageously demonic and low vibrational gives people a renewal 
of hope and faith that we can actually win this war, this, this vibrational war. It's a war for our divinity is what it comes down to. They don't want us to align with our purpose. They want to keep us trapped inside these low vibrational tombs which if they're able to do this to enough of us this is how hell on earth manifests right some would say this is what we're seeing all around us right now this is why it's so important to wake up to who you are to your power to your divinity you are a miracle all of you are stars in some capacity in your own lives we're just meant to think that we're nothing. We're nothing significant. They want us to be spiritually impotent, not show up to ourselves. They know exactly who we are, how powerful we are. They can't allow us to see this and remember. They being agents of the devil, the minions that are all around us, that have been assigned to us to keep us trapped inside these... <sighs> It's like the Truman Show, right? I always say this, Truman Show. Not remember who we are. Fool, Aries energy, at the throat. This is you stepping out on faith, no longer stuck after they've created all this resistance in your life. They want you to function out of like a very apathetic space, right? It's a space of it's just not showing up to yourself is what it comes down to here, Cancer. But here you are. You're carving out this new path for yourself. You're on to new beginnings in your life. You're taking a chance on yourself and your divinity and it's working out for you. I've never ever heard of it not working out for somebody when they take a leap of faith with the divine. If you take a leap of faith with the divine and it's not working out for you, it's because you didn't follow the instructions. What do we have at the third eye? What do we have at the third eye? Six of Pentacles. Taurus energy at the third eye. This is an energy of giving and receiving. This is you having followed your instructions here, Cancer. You followed the guidance that the divine laid out for you. And now they're helping you navigate through this energy. Third eye and crown are messages I get from the divine in these readings. You're bringing balance back into your life by remembering who you are. You're allowing the divine to help you. Six of pentacles at the third eye. Stepped out on faith and it's working out for you. What do we have at the crown? Five of Wands, Leo energy at the crown. And this is what's taking place with all these individuals. It's like a coven of demons all fighting against each other now. How could you let cancer get away? You were supposed to be watching them. No, you were supposed to be watching them. It's like it's just an energy of... They're just all chasing their tails now, fighting with each other, because they didn't expect you to ever wake up. They became too arrogant, too comfortable, just feeding off of you for narcissistic supply, nourishing themselves. It's like an angel being shackled and drained of all their high vibrational energy, which is endless, right? So you were giving them an endless supply of nourishment. Feeding demons. Just the mere presence of you, Cancer, nourishes them. This is why it's so important to keep your boundaries about you, discernment around who it is that you let into your energetic environment, understanding that we live in an energetic universe. You don't surround yourself with demons. Otherwise, this is what happens. You get stuck. You get led down the wrong path, away from your purpose. 
not able to hear the call. What do we have at the foundation from the occult terror, please? See what demons were keeping my cancer's root chakra blocked, please? Seven of Pentacles. Nabarius. This is an energy here of misfortune and loss. No long-term vision. This is what they didn't want you to see. It goes along perfectly with what I just said. You not being able to see. Get the call from the divine. You not hearing the call. Because they're keeping you distracted. In these low vibrational affairs. What do we have at the sacral? What do we have at the sacral please? What do we have at the sacral? Hierophant. This is like Hierophant in reverse. Whenever I get this card, it's like somebody who's been exposed, right? It's like somebody's opened up the door. Look, there's like a little shadow on them, right? And they've been caught. They're doing something sexual with what looks to be an octopus dog. They've got a meat roast with a hook in the other hand. There's like a snake coming out of the meat roast. This person you're dealing with could have a low-hanging hairy belly. Male or female, it doesn't matter. It's just kind of what I'm picking up, right? It's just you seeing them for who they truly are now. The exposure takes place when you step out on faith. This is you ripping back the curtain and seeing everything that's behind it. All the mechanisms of evil that have been working to keep you stuck this entire time. They constructed whole worlds around you, world energy, to keep you stuck. Cancer? What do we have at the solar plexus, please? What do we have at the solar plexus, please? King of Swords, Elagos. So this is like King of Swords in reverse. This is a very manipulative, abusive energy. This is a con man. These are these energies that were keeping you stuck inside this karmic cycle. Tyrannical energies. These are energies that would do absolutely anything, say anything to keep you stuck. Cancer. At all costs dead or alive, this kind of energy. Some of you could be dealing with situations like that where people are actually coming after you. I've dealt with this in my own life. I don't really have any cancer, any significant cancer placements in my chart, but I do resonate with this reading. Oh yes, I definitely do. Right? When I started waking up to my divinity, I had all sorts of people coming after me trying to take my life. Just craziness, right? Because I started to see them for who they truly were. And it threatened their existence. This is what's going on in your life, Cancer. A lot of exposure. A lot of people feel threatened by you because of this. What do we have at the heart? so interesting they then wanted to come out back here and i put it back because um this card came out first but we have kalel which is justice from the angel tarot and then we'll start here bathen scandal knight of wands so this is like knight of wands in reverse energy knight of wands in reverse energy is a horrible energy it's a very reckless Chaotic, impulsive energy. It's also an energy of some sort of sexual excess. So for some of you, this could have been relationships you were in. People keeping you stuck in some sort of like sexual, uh, I don't know, just something weird, right? It's like relationships that are based around sex and this is a way to keep you trapped. Um, I don't know. It's going to be different for all of you. I don't really want to dig too much into that energy there. But it's just an overall energy of chaos. This is what you're leaving behind now. This is an energy that was meant to keep you stuck in a place of delays. Scattering your energy. 
depleting you of your life force. It's like a rebellious energy, but not a good one, right? There's the good rebel and the bad rebel. This is the bad rebel. A good rebel is somebody who goes against the system, right? But for means of exposure, because the system that they're going against is demonic in nature. This is a rebel here who hurts people because they themselves are hurt. This is the energy you're moving into, Cancer. Kalel, justice, Libra energy. This is all this truth coming to light, like I said, right? Because you recognized your divinity and you heard the call, judgment energy at the foundation and stepped into your purpose. Everything going in your favor now. What do we have at the throat from the angel tarot? Two of cups, cancer energy at the throat. The swiftly hearkening God, fruition, provides expansive intelligence and gives the grace of God. So that's your energy there, cancer. This is you attracting all these new partnerships and relationships and connections into your life now. It's an energy of respect. And this is taking place because you stepped out on faith. Full energy at the throat. What do we have at the third eye? The world. So we have the world twice now. God, the source of wisdom, fountain of wisdom, gives success in all ventures. This is an energy of completion. This karmic cycle is over. Well, it's over for you. It's not for them. These energies now have to face horrendous karma for what they've done. Like I said, you waking up is them being exposed. You merely waking up is you like saying the word, right? The recognition of what was taking place is them being exposed. You just had to process the truth. A truth that you had a very hard time seeing, or for some of you, you refused to see. And I know that energy too, Cancer. I know it well. For some, it's just too hard to bear the truth. Some people prefer to stay asleep. Some people prefer to stay inside the illusion than to face the truth. Man, I know that energy so well. I was like that for years and years. I was made up an excuse for these demons. But what's interesting is the excuse that I made up for them was that I was doing something wrong. <laughs> How crazy is that, right? And what's even more sad is I did that when I was just a little kid. I was always made to think there was something wrong with me, that I deserved the punishment. I deserved the abuse. This is the same for a lot of you out there, Cancer. Picking up on this here. What do we have the crown, please, to close this out for Cancer? Six of Swords, Annuel. The gentle God, perception of unity, protects against accidents, heals the sick. This is you transitioning on from this. For some of you, you're relocating. You're just moving away from this energy and for good. This is a passage forward for you. This is your rite of passage, Cancer. Don't you forget that. This is necessary. It's time to wake up and step into your divinity. Take what's yours. Allow the divine to bless you and step into your power. All right, Cancer, I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like a personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Cancer. Take care.